and then in September I was coming again. End of September, be, uh, no, end of uh, yeah, end of September and beginning of October I had a project. Uh, uh, I invite a group from Switzerland, trio, and duo from London. Mm. We improvise music. In Kazil. In, oh. in drum theater. And it's just a big the biggest theater. stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that was quite interesting. I mean, sorry, the second time happening. The first, uh, Peter Cole was there, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in April 1991, and then, yeah, this autumn. Yeah. That's nice that in two years, last two years already, four or five groups are, are started to, to, to improvise in mm -hmm. tour. Like, do you heard uh, Biosynthes? Biosynthes mm, group, yeah. They, they have, you know, this, all these um, shamanistic uh, costumes. O, o, of course, still inside, I would say, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, they are a little bit like Sandra from outside. When you look at this group, they're quite large, 12 or 9 musicians. Uh -huh. And uh, from outside, it looked like Sandra performance or or, or um, uh, uh, what's called this Chicago Art Ensemble, uh -huh. Ch Art Ensemble of Chicago. They are also painting. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But music is more from 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 like uh, uh, like Santana, uh -huh. this rhythmical stuff and. Big rhythmical section and uh, overtone singers and. Do you recognize that from me? Yeah. Biosynthesis. Did you see that? No. No. We didn't see it. So mm -hmm. It's now now it's was one of the best uh, group in tour. Ah. Too bad we didn't see stuff. them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, do you have uh, questions already? <coughs> yes. <coughs> if Tommy is ready, I'm ready. Um, uh, first, I'd just like to know uh, about if are you are born in Tuva? And when did you leave Tuva for the first time, and why? So, I was born in Tuva, in a small village of uh, of uh, how it called with diggers or gold. Ah, gold diggers. No? Yeah, yeah, gold diggers. Yes. So, in which is not exist now anymore, and um, a river. What was also uh, does not exist. So uh, it's in the uh, west part of, of uh, Tuva. And uh, first time I was going to Moscow in 1979, and then 1980 I, I already, I can say, my life in Moscow started. So I had the um, idea to study. In, in the music college. So I started in Tuva, but it wasn't uh, successful uh, in that time. It was too new, maybe. That way of, of my singing, of folk songs, was uh, too ethnic, you know, too. Um, in that time, the 1970s, end of 70s, it's, it still was quite conservative time when, when uh, it was more these political things, you know, that if you have in your repertoire all these songs about the party, the communism and all that, we are not. So I wasn't, uh, in, let's say, in good contact with, with uh, governments from the um, uh, Minister of Culture in Tuma. But uh, after Who was that? that was, it's not the same Minister of Culture as it is now? Oh, it's since that time. Many times, times yes. Many times. 
but uh, after 1986 I had my first uh, how can I say it, uh, m real uh, coming on stage after big concurs over all Russia for the folk singers and I got the prize and I got a special prize and I got one more special prize and it was like just new for our audience, new for me. And after that, when, when, it, when newspapers and uh, the TV start to talk that there's a singer tra -la -la, from Tuva, then it, it was coming like from, from, from uh, uh, cult, Minister of Culture in Tuva, they started to interest uh -huh. So she started to sing us if, if they thought something interesting must be. And then, end of 80s, uh, it becomes like that, that uh, Tuva. Uh, folk group which called Tva was was uh, started to uh, them the, the career as as folk group, and in that time I was already moving to improvise music because uh, I'm not afraid anymore about real folk music in Tua because this group is really holding very strong, very straight uh, folk music, and then I said okay. Now I will just move to improvise music because there is something new. So you see, I, I, I was always trying to make something new. So in 70s, it wasn't so fashion to be folk singer. You, you, I mean, there was folk groups, but it was more mixed with political things, with this European harmonies, with uh, this accordion, with choirs, you know, with folk songs, which is not organic at all for Tuva folk music because Tuva folk music is mm, mm, how to call it? Uh, it's not harmonical. I mean, it's there is special harmony, but it's more. It's just like one melody and just uh, ground tone. It's um, it's not it's nothing going with with European harmony. So that was my my uh, point of fighting to 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 say that no. We have our own harmony and our own style, which we have to develop. So lately, it is coming like that: that this folk group was started to, to play, to, to show the program, which is exactly what what is really, really folk music in Tuva is. And uh, uh, then I started to, to discuss again. So. That's folk music, but what is folk music today for ritual things or that, let's say strange sounds, which is maybe not useful anymore in daily life. So that was why I was, I was uh, going to improvise music to bring um, to, uh, to, uh, to a shamanistic ritual uh, Fresh life briefing, let's say, yeah. Um, and then I started to to, to learn to, to to learn more about modern music, contemporary music, and then, of course, I was going more deeper to um, to uh, cult music of shamanism, to to learn really sound through my voice, through my heart. So, and then I it was going in. Two, two, two ways in one. So, modern contemporary music and and uh, and uh, uh, shamanistic rituals. So it was just going in one. And then I had my first tour, 1990. Uh, uh, I started uh, in Münster Jazz Festival, and it was like, you no, know, it was like explosion. So. But I was so hungry to improvise. I was trying to uh, to to uh, to react to every uh, invitation to play, you know. But after half a year, I, I feel that I cannot anymore. You know, it's it's like I had, for example, one tour in in Switzerland, something like ten days, and ten days every other new group, you know, and it was like. You know, then I decided no, I have to select. You know, to not be too too uh, uh, 
to open, you know. I have to select uh, all these uh, invitations and combinations, what, what projects, what, what is coming to me. Because, of course, for, for Western musicians, and especially for Western audience, it was really something amazing and something really new, you know. And, uh, and uh, in this case, it was necessary to stop what I did last winter, uh, 92, 90, uh, 91, 92. I stopped for three months and I was just trying to, again, to collect myself again, to say, okay, for what I need, where I'm going now. That was the point when I really turned to, to new music. And now it's coming like this, that, I would like to work with folk things, with contemporary music and pop music. That thing, because, for example, rapping, all this uh, stuff, it is. I was listening many times, uh, like Jenny Joplin, all this rock music. Uh, like, I mean, I'm, as I'm a singer, I'm trying to, 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 to develop it in, in a way of. of, of um, of singing experiment, I mean, singing uh, story of voices in, in Europe and in, uh, let's say, in world music to learn it. And then I thought, yeah, I shouldn't uh, just to, to uh, be so conservative to say, okay, I turn only to contemporary music and that's all. You know, I, I decided to, to make different things but to select it always to have a chance to develop something, to work with my own things and to work with different uh, styles, like to work with free jazz musicians, with uh, contemporary musicians cl clearly, and then with, with pop things all, also. So I had the recording this Andreas von Invader, and uh, so this production came out in last winter. And it's called uh, Book of Roses. And I, there I had very few moments, but I liked it. How he did it, because it's completely different than what I, I did before with free jazz musicians. You know, it's completely different. So now I have three far away points folk scenes, improvised music free jazz which is a little close to improvised music and then just uh, just uh, more popular music let's say that's that's so and in every direction i can work and i can develop my my possibilities of my, my voice and imagination good i just have to change battery <laughs> okay <laughs> If you have questions, maybe I should think to make it more <coughs> compact. You know? so it's very interesting. <laughs> it's <an> interesting. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I know where it is. I was working with Constanze, so we, we did a lot of things, <laughs> yeah. but it was just... Um, I just would like to ask, in 1986 you said you were at this... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Tabling. Um Concourse. Yeah, concourse. Maybe <laughs> You have to change yeah. batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it just, yeah. Yeah, and um, uh, did you sing o uh, only uh, folk songs only. by then? Only folk. Only but this home or. No, no. No. You will see, it's, it's different. It's, it's different. different. It's just, n it's, I mean, it's like normal voice element of homemade, element of, of like, do you heard in uh, Eskimo scene? Yes. Something like this. Yeah. And then, of course, some, something from, from uh, modern music. I mean, from yeah. 